three methods to find bugs on your website. Um, I don't know where bugs can appeal on websites, but uh, they can take away a lot of profit. And I found that uh, big companies uh, like Facebook, Google, YouTube, and many others have bugs as well. But uh, they have uh, uh, some teams who can handle uh, these bugs, uh, and uh, their users can inform uh, something is wrong with uh, website. And uh, I think that you uh, saw a few situations with Facebook uh, that um, uh, was gone away for. 20 minutes, uh, uh, something happened uh, previously with uh, Google, and that's okay, bugs uh, uh, are everywhere, but when you have no big audience, nobody can tell you that you have problems on your website, and it's better to uh, analyze um, before um, uh, getting these bugs or, uh, for example, uh, to check out them. For example, uh, on my website, uh, my content manager uh, usually checks out uh, weekly uh, all uh, uh, blogs, models, text, uh, design, uh, and uh, click all buttons that we have on our website. Because uh, once I remember a time when uh, our register form uh, didn't work correctly and we uh, uh, found after two weeks and lost a lot of sales yep. uh, uh, and <laughs> when we found that uh, we, we don't have the sales something uh, was wrong with, with that and um, uh, only after a few weeks we, we found that that's why today we provide manually all uh, analysis with bugs uh, and you can use some uh, tools uh, Paul tell me about tools what you can use some tools I use to find bugs are is Google Search Console. You can totally see like the index report and see if there are any errors that show up. They will alert you. If you have any significant drops in traffic in your Google Analytics, that's a good way to figure out if there's a certain bug. And you can pinpoint which site or maybe which section it is that's not getting that much traffic. And of course, there's our paid tools like Screaming Frog, which I feel is like the technical SEO tool uh, for the industry. Screaming Frog is great to use. You can scan your website. It's a, like a one month, one year fee, and you can just keep scanning your website every day if you want to, to see if you find any errors. Do you use any tools, Anatoly? Um, uh, it's interesting that uh, I can share a tool that you probably uh, don't think about this tool. Uh, it's Hrefs. I can tell you why. Uh, once my website was hacked and uh, Google Search Console uh, and antiviruses uh, didn't show that something happened with my website, but we lost a lot of traffic and we didn't know what's going on. Uh, in Hrefs, I found that my website... Uh, uh, links to uh, many uh, Japanese content, <laughs> other websites, and uh, uh, we uh, decided to check it out, uh, analyze uh, all these pages, and someone hacked our website uh, and um, linked to uh, other uh, Japanese content, created uh, a lot of pages on our website, and we didn't know about this. Um, of course, we um, uh, fixed all these problems, uh, uh, but uh, um, we got back our traffic after three months, you know, we lost a lot of revenue. Uh, and uh, I recommend uh, to use uh, paid antiviruses uh, for your website, to uh, analyze manually, and even using HRS or SEMrush to analyze your uh, external links, uh, you can find something. It's interesting that 30% of all websites online are hacked. It's a lot. Just imagine 30% of all websites. And um, uh, of course, it's better to use paid antiviruses or two-step verification. Uh, uh, for example, in our admin panel, we use uh, IP uh, protect. For example, uh, even if you know uh, password and login uh, to admin panel, you can use from uh, different IPs. Um, yep, uh, it's the way to uh, uh, analyze everything. And uh, the last thing, just check out manually everything. Uh, analyze all uh, pages on your website. Uh, um, uh, you don't need to analyze all pages, just uh, similar pages. For example, if you have uh, uh, similar pages, items, products, catalogs, just open them, analyze, and uh, um, uh, check out even design, because sometimes design can uh, be broken. Anything else, Paul? 
No, I mean, that's that's some great information there. I, if, if you want to secure your website, I, I highly recommend two-factor authentication where, so when you log into the back end of your website, you need to have like your phone or you need to put in a, another password from another like, provider. So securing your website is very important. So be sure to do that. Yep, yep. Okay, guys, thanks for watching or listening. Uh, ask uh, us any questions. We will reply to all of them and see you next time. Cheers.